Right, now we're going to show you how to attach a piece of equipment with the three point, three point linkage. We have a left lift arm, a right lift arm, and a top, top link. Most important thing here is safety. If it's a two-man operation, we don't want to be caught between the tractor and the implement. Many people over the years have been squashed in, in between the tractor tyre and the implement. So if it's in a two-man operation, make sure that you are outside the tyre when the operator's bringing the tractor back. We don't want to be in here, we want to be out here. If we've got to be moving our arms, we can still do that from outside the actual tyre width. Now there's a certain way that we do put on the three-point linkage. And the most easiest, the most important step is to reverse the tractor straight onto the piece of equipment that we're about to get. It makes it a lot harder if, if we aren't directly straight onto it. But if we are directly straight, we put the left hand link on first, bottom one first, then the right hand one. The reason we go for the left hand first is it normally doesn't have any adjustment on it. So once we got that one in place, with the right hand one, it does have some adjustment and we can, we can move the arm up or down. Lastly, we put on our, our top link, and the job of the top link is to keep our piece of equipment stable and straight. Okay, so like I said before, the most important thing is to have the tractor square to the implement, and now we're going to attach our two lower arms and our, and our top arm. So as we said before, the first one we're going to do is our left hand side, followed by our actually right hand side. So let's put on our left hand side first. Making sure we push the pins through, making sure we have the correct size pins, as we don't want any implements coming off. I am now going to put on the right hand side. As you can see, it is a little bit actually lower but I can use the adjustable attachment to bring the arm up to the right level. So lastly, we're going to put on the top arm. It, it has an adjustable, so we can come in or out just to make sure that we're actually lined up with that top hole. Once we've got it on, we're just going to make it tight, hook it back on, and now we're actually ready to go farming. Once we've got our piece of equipment on, we then need to start the tractor so that we can actually lift our implement up. There's two final adjustments that we actually must do. If we want to adjust our sideways movement, we can use this adjustment here. If we want to adjust our, our front and back, we can use this adjustment here. And finally, to stop the, the actual sway in the implement, we can tighten up our sway bar. So there is a sway bar on each side, and that's probably the final adjustment that we're going to do. So now to take off the implement, we go in the exact opposite of actually putting it on. So first step is to take off our our top link. If it's a bit too tight here and we can't get this pin out, it's just a matter of using this lever to make that pin nice and loose. You can see by just moving it a, a, a fraction that pins become really nice and loose. Pop this back up here. Put our pin back so that it's always there next time we want to use this piece of equipment. We then go to our right hand link. The important thing about doing this is making sure that you put the piece of equipment on a flat piece of ground. We've taken off the right hand link. Lastly now we've just got to take off our 
left hand. And there, there you have it. Okay, so what we're going to show you now is how to attach a implement to the drawbar of the, of the tractor. The most important thing is that we have the, uh, the attachment at the correct height so that when we bring the tractor back with the drawbar, the drawbar will fit in between the two jaws of the implement. So now we have actually driven the, the tractor backwards, lining it up with the pin hole on our piece of equipment. We put our pin through and make sure we put a linch pin at the bottom to stop the pin from sliding out. What we're going to do now is attach the PTO shaft. It's possibly the most dangerous part on tractor operations. Important safety aspects which we should do before um, attaching this is make sure that the tractor is off and in, in, in neutral. We should never try to step over a PTO shaft. We should make sure that our PTO shaft is completely guarded. So both universals on both sides of the shaft should be completely guarded. We need to make sure that our collar attachment is well lubricated so that it will go on to the stub shaft. We, make, we should make sure that our PTO is al aligned up with our shaft. Uh, a problem if this is out of angle of more than 30 degrees. So there's quite a lot of safety issues with the PTO shaft and a lot of people have lost limbs and unfortunately lives due to this PTO shaft. I'm going to go show you now the correct way to actually put this shaft on. This particular PTO shaft has a collar and we must pull the collar back to uh, allow the little locking pin to go over the stub shaft slot in there. These can be quite heavy so it's really important to take that weight, have a nice straight back and take that weight on your actual knee. Don't sort of lean over as such because you can do yourself some damage in the back. So once we pull it back and we hear that click, one other way of that we can convert tractor power to the implement is through the use of external hydraulics. There's a few pointers about the external hydraulics that we actually should be careful of before we actually try to put this onto the tractor. Important things that we have to realise that in this hydraulic hose is very hot oil. So do not at any time try to find any leaks in this hose if you think there's a leak because it's under extreme pressure and it's extremely hot. The other thing is important to put it on is to make sure that we have no oil pressure in the actual coupling and we can do this by just hitting it on, pushing it down to make sure that we've pushed out that extra bit of pressure and this will allow us to put the three-point coupling in quite easily. Very important to keep it nice and clean Give that a nice wipe before we put it in. It's a matter of pushing it in nice and hard till it catches. So it's very important. This is a very dangerous piece of equipment, this PDO shaft. It is spinning at high revs, at 540 revs per, per minute. If we're wearing loose clothing, um, hair to get caught in this shaft. The most important thing is obviously to have this shaft covered. So this is a, is a proper shaft. It's covering the entire PTO shaft from the universal to the back universal. So there was no chance of us getting injured. But still, Take it as a safety precaution. Do not operate near this PTO shaft while it is spinning. 
And if you do have to do anything on this shaft, make sure that you've turned it off first. So continuing with tractor attachments, that was O10 teacher Steve taking us through PTO, drawbar and external hydraulics.